aware if Frank Hankson would store any drugs or money for Telly. At that time, I learned one time it came on missing. Some keys came on missing from Telly, from Frank's house that he was holding for Telly. How do you know anything about that? Because he came by my house crying to my brother, Buki. When you say he came by your house, Telly came by crying to Buki saying his keys came on missing. He need to get the money back. And when you say keys, again, we're talking about kilos. Kilos, yes. Why would he come and talk to your brother, Buki? I guess my brother had a little money to help him get the money back that he needed to pay the guys that he owed because he was saying he owed somebody. Five kilos is worth a lot of money. Did your brother give him that amount of money? I think it was seven, but no, my brother didn't have that kind of money. But I think my brother gave him some money but I don't know how much it was. And I'm sorry, you say you thought it was seven. What do you mean? Yes, yeah, seven kilos. You don't know how much money your brother gave Telly? No. Do you know if your brother gave Telly any money? Yes, he gave him some money. He said he would pay him back tomorrow. How do you know that this situation involved Frank? Because that's what, he went to Frank and he was asking Frank about the kilos and Frank was saying he didn't have them. I'm going to object to hearsay. You need to lay a foundation. I don't know if she was present or if she... I'll follow up with that. Thank you. First of all, you said he went to Frank. Who is he? Telly went to Frank and... Hang on. Let me just ask another question first. Were you a witness to this conversation? Yes, I was. Where did this conversation take place? Outside at first, and then Telly brought it inside. Frank didn't come inside. You say outside. Outside where? In front of the door. Right directly across the street from 2011. So on Josephine Street? Yes. Who was present for this conversation? I was on the porch. Arthur was inside. My brother Buki and Telly and Frank was across the street arguing. Okay, so were they speaking loudly enough for you to hear? Yes, they was arguing. What was that conversation? He wanted his kilos. Who is he? Telly Hankton. Was he arguing with Frank, his uncle? Yes. What did you hear his uncle tell him? He said that his daughter and her boyfriend had access to his apartment too, that he wasn't the only one that had the key. At some point after the conversation, did Telly come back into your house? Yes. When did he come back into your house? After he got through arguing with Frank, he came in my house asking my brother for the money and talking. Asking which brother again? Arthur Stewart. When he came into your house, what else did he have to say about that? That he needed the money and that he took it for my brother to loan him some money and he was going to pay him back tomorrow. Did he come back into your house at another point and talk to Arthur more about that situation? After the fact, he paid Arthur his money back. What did he say to Arthur then? That he was going to kill him? That he was going to kill who? Frank's daughter. I don't know her name. Frank's daughter? Yes. What was his mannerism or disposition when he was saying? He was crying. He was mad. He was crying. You overheard this conversation? Yes. Do you know the daughter of Frank? Never seen her a day in my life. Is this a good place to break? Okay. We will take our noon recess. Please remain seated. Court is now in session. All right. Let's resume with Miss Stewart. So, Miss Stewart, back to some of the drug dealing that was happening on Josephine Street. Did you guys ever get arrested for doing that? Many times they kicked in, I would do. Say that again? Many times I would do was kicked in. Kicked in by the police? Yes. Would they sometimes search your residence? Yes. Was there a period of time you mentioned an individual named Brian Broussard when he started selling something other than cocaine or crack? Pluck? Yes. Around 2002, he sold marijuana for like six months and he met somebody who had some good heroin and he scored it and he started selling the heroin. But right after cocaine... He went to weed for like six months, marijuana, and then he started selling the heroin. When he was selling heroin, 
Do you know who was supplying him the heroin? No, I just know they call him Yimmy. So Telly Hankton did not supply him with heroin? Not at all. All right. Was Brian Broussard doing well when he was selling heroin? Real well. What does that mean? He was making a lot of money, probably like $4,000 or $5,000 a day. Was he buying a lot of things with it? No. Was he able to buy any cars? Yeah, he bought a car. Where was he selling the heroin? On Josephine. Now, were the other individuals you named before like Trail and your brother Durney, were they all out there during that time? No, they were incarcerated. Who was out there when Pluck started selling heroin? Just Dudu, Rodney Robinson, and him. If I can show you Government Exhibit 239, do you recognize that person? Yeah, that's Brian Broussard, Pluck. If I can admit that, please, Your Honor. So ordered. If I can show you Exhibit 240, do you recognize that person? Yeah, that's Rodney Robinson, Dudu. If I can admit that, Your Honor, so ordered. Now, you talked about these two individuals. Was Dudu selling her own too? Yes. Were you out there during this time? Yes. Where would they sell the hair on? Either across the street from 2011 or down the street in front of Sh's door. When you say, is it Sh? Is Telly's mom or is it Sh? Is Is that another family member of Telly? Yes. What is her relationship? His auntie. Where does she live? In the 2100 block of Josephine. Was that someone across the street? Was that somewhat across the street? Across from Saratoga. On Josephine Street in particular, besides 2011 Josephine where you live, where were the other houses that people would distribute drugs from? I'm sorry, besides your house, where else would people sell on Josephine Street? Right across the street by the store. They usually keep it probably in their buttocks and sell it. But most of the time, they sit in our house and a drug addict came knock on the door. And whatever they wanted, that's who they went to.